Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today we're talking about jackets. I have, I don't know, half a dozen to a dozen jackets here. Well, all laying on the ground now. That I'm gonna be reviewing for you. It's kind of a good old fashioned LLOD clothing review, I guess. So, if you're into that, stay tuned. I will put chapters down below so you can skip ahead to whatever you whatever you care about. If you don't if you don't care about this or that, feel free to skip around. I am gonna do a couple announcements real quick and a little bit of backstory as well. Uh, so one quick announcement, this is the most important one, freedomtremor.com. If you haven't been following, if you're new here, whatever, I'm giving away a Ford F-250 Tremor, insane adventure overland built truck. My partner with Diamondback on this and a bunch of other great partners as well. We've built this truck. I'll link to the whole playlist up here in the left. Uh, basically, we built the ultimate adventure truck and we're raffling it off. One of you guys can win it. And all of the money, it's not a for-profit thing. All the money we raise is going to fight human trafficking. So awesome cause, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, getting this limited edition patch is your best way. Get as many of these as you want, stick them on your headliner, give them to your friends, whatever. Uh, you can get a t-shirt, a hat, and a sweatshirt as well. And they all get you entered to win this sweet, sweet truck. And you have to enter by February 15th. It's, it's almost over. And full disclosure, guys, we haven't raised as much money as I was hoping we would. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if I should talk about that. I had high hopes. Granted, I had high hopes but I'm hoping you guys come through in these last couple of days and enter more. You're gonna, you're gonna be bummed if you don't win this truck. And you're gonna be bummed if you didn't enter and help raise money for this cool charity. So, enter today, because chances are probably half of you watching this video, it's already over. So if you're on the notification squad, get entered. February 15th, it's over. Freedomtremor.com. Another quick update, unrelated, Anything you get at LLOD.us is completely separate from Freedom Tremor, so buying holsters or hats or merch, whatever, on my site does not get you entered to that. It's two completely separate things. FreedomTremor.com. But I also restock some of my own merch. So this is a Multicam Arid hat, and this is a Multicam Black. So I restocked all the Multicam Black hats with this new colorway. It's kind of a, a chocolate logo. These are flex fits. I also have them in the truckers. And this is kind of an interesting one. This is a flex fit mesh back. I really, really like this hat. This is, this is probably my favorite hat. And this is kind of a, kind of a green foliage green colorway. So anyways, these are on my site right now. LLOD.us slash gear. I think that's it for an, oh, actually one more announcement. It's Freedom Tremor, so Diamondback Truck Covers is displaying at the Great American Outdoor Show, Gauss, G-A-O-S, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania this week. I am gonna be there on Saturday the 12th, so I think I'm probably gonna upload this video on Friday. So if you're watching it super early on and you're near in Pennsylvania area and you wanna come say hey to me, hang out, High fives, see the Freedom Tremor. I think you can enter the raffle on site there as well. See the truck, take pictures, shake hands, chat about gear, whatever. Great American Outdoor Show at the Diamondback booth, Saturday, February 12th. I'll be there pretty much all day hanging out at the Diamondback booth. I think there may be a new product there that you can check out as well. So if you're in the area, stop by Great American Outdoor Show. Sweet. Okay, so. A little bit of backstory, my name is Mike, I run this channel, Last Line of Defense, and a big part of this channel is gear. I test a lot of gear, I have a lot of great relationships with companies, so I'm able to try more gear than the average person, giving me a unique insight on, on gear, finding the gear, how many times can I say gear in a video, but finding the gear that just works well for me. So my gear type review videos, I, I don't talk, I'm not reading specs off a spec sheet like all those other lame gear reviews out there, uh, cause you can find all that stuff out online. I'm actually just telling you how the fit is, how the pocket layouts are, you know, how, as it pertains to jackets, all that stuff that you can't read uh, on a web page description. So that's what we're gonna talk about. I'll link to everything down below. Like I said earlier, I do have coupon codes with a lot of these companies, so check those out. There are affiliate links. That's kind of how I support the channel, how I support what I do here. So if you wanna buy anything, even if it's not one of these jackets, feel free to click the links, use the code. They're usually good for like 
discounts on, on the whole site. So, so yeah, let's start off with my go-to jacket. So basically, oh, let's start out with a little bit of background. So I'm, I'm, I'm 5'10", like a true five foot 10 and 180 pounds. So what that translates to is some random dude on the internet I'm probably like six foot to six foot two, 200 to 225, but I'm an actual 5'10". I only say that so you can get a good idea of, of fitment on these jackets. I have an athletic body type, I guess. This is a size large t-shirt. I wear pretty much size large t-shirt in everything. And every jacket that you see, every jacket that I'm gonna show you today is a size medium or a size large in t-shirts. And I like my jackets a little bit, I don't know, I don't like them super baggy and down low like dresses and way off my arms. So I, I usually wear a size medium. So every jacket here is a size medium. A little bit more backstory as you guys love to hear. <laughs> I live in Colorado. I live in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado at about 8,900 feet of elevation. So I'm chopping firewood, snow blowing my driveway. My trip to the grocery store is like what most people would consider like a, an epic mountain adventure. So, I mean, not, not really, I'm just kind of in a mountain suburb type deal, but I deal with cold weather a lot. So I wear jackets for like six months of the year, honestly. So every year I have a go-to jacket. It's just kind of like the jacket I grab when I'm running out the door to the grocery store or whatever. This year, the jacket for me has been the Vertex Integrity Plus P jacket. Uh, again, I'll link to all these down below. I may I may get some of the names wrong or whatever But let me actually let me change this so you can get like a whole a whole body shot view. That's a little better so we can get the full view of things. So the photos on the Vertex website are a lot of their photos Make their clothes look kind of funky. This one is a little bit bigger in the midsection because it has these two dump pockets right here. So these I kind of thought would be a little gimmicky or, or hokey or whatever, but I actually use them a lot. So I, I wear gloves a fair bit as well. And these are great to just dump gloves or whatever, gear. Uh, sometimes I'm working on my vehicles or whatever and I'll just like toss a couple screwdrivers or something in here. So I really like these pockets as just little dump pockets. They're kind of, they're kind of felt lined. And yeah, so that's these, that's these little slip pockets here. And so for a good everyday jacket for me, it's just, it's gotta be comfortable, it's gotta be lightweight, and it's just gotta work. The cuffs can't be too tight, I wanna check my watch, I wanna set reminders, I wanna do whatever. So it's just gotta, it's just gotta work, right? So this jacket just works. It checks all the boxes. It has a hood, pretty much all the jackets I'm talking about today have a hood. And this is, this is how high the collar zips up. So you have nice, it's not too high to where it's like covering your mouth like this, but it's nice, kind of gives you the nice warmth around the neck. It does have an adjustable hood as well. So you can see that. And yeah, all these jackets will kind of have your athletic outdoor type fit where they come a little bit lower in the back. So, you know, water doesn't trickle down your butt crack or whatever has two regular pockets right here. They're nice. They are kind of felt lined on the outside to keep you nice and warm. So the insulation is outside of your hands and they do have a little pass through pocket here as well. So the zipper is accessed from the inside here, but you can go through the pocket if you want to. So what that means is for your concealed carry types or whatever out there, you can get secret access to whatever you need to in here. Again, all these jackets are medium. I am size large t-shirt. And this is it. I think this comes in two colorways and it's just, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, and it is deceivingly, surprisingly warm. So if you need a jacket for cold weather, this is, I think this is the warmest jacket of, of the whole group of every jacket I'm going to show. This is the warmest jacket of them all. And just, I don't know, it's just, it's just comfortable. I have, I honestly haven't liked a whole lot of Vertex's jackets in the past, but this one, this one's my favorite jacket right now. Go-to jacket comes in this color, which is whatever. I don't know the colors and, and black. So just a little bit of backstory here. Uh, my go-to jackets, this is kind of the category of my go-to everyday jacket, which is the Vertex right now. 
for a while was this jacket. It was the Arcteryx Leaf Cold WX hoodie. I might have said those in a wrong order. And this is this is a similarly warm, this is probably the second warmest jacket of the group. And it's kind of a similar color. This is the, the Ranger Green, I believe. And this is cool because you can put some patches on the shoulders, you know, if you want to look all, all tactical or whatever. Has a nice hood, feels good. But what I didn't love about this jacket, even though I like a lot of things about this jacket, is these cuffs are just too tight. Anytime I need to like pull up my hands, pull up my sleeves to wash my hands or whatever, I was just getting this thing wet here. It was hard to get my watch out when I needed to check something or set a reminder or something. So it really good jacket. I liked it a lot, but just a couple of things that I didn't didn't love about it. But this was my this was kind of a go-to jacket for a while. And another go-to jacket was this one from Beyond. And it <laughs> Beyond jackets are kind of hard, the naming conventions. So this is the Anchor Light Belay L7. This is a good jacket, not quite as warm, super comfortable, super light. It has some cool pockets inside to store your gloves or your goggles or whatever. Fit is a little, a little looser, but pretty good. The arms are roomy, but these sleeves I don't like as much for whatever reason in daily jacket. These like Velcro cinch, you can cinch them down tight or they're they're looser. I, just, I prefer the elastic sleeve. Uh, it just works a little better for my everyday type jackets. But this is another good one. Uh, and I'm just showing these as, as options. Kind of just breezing through them to show you the jackets that I've, I've compared with. This is the Tad, a triple out design bastion hoodie. Now this one is a relatively warm jacket, but not like deceptively warm, like the Vertex jacket is deceptively warm. I was like, oh, I wonder how warm this jacket's gonna be. And I was like, man, this, this jacket's quite warm. This one feels like it should be a warmer jacket and it's not as warm as it feels like it should be. But a good option, uh, this is a, this is Arcteryx and this Tad are very high-end uh, expensive jackets. So be prepared for, for a sticker shock if you're not used to these brands, but another very good very good option. So these were kind of like the in competition for my everyday jackets. That's why I'm showing like four jackets here. Uh, Vertex, my favorite. These have all kind of held the throne at various points in my life, but they're all kind of beat out right now by the Vertex. So now we're gonna get into a kind of another category. This is the cool M's Law fleece lines hoodie, I think it's called. And this is, this is a dirty jacket, right? It's like, I look, I don't know if I look like a hobo or what, maybe I just look like a working man. But this is like a canvas jacket. So I know there's a lot of outcry over the, the whole Carhartt ordeal. So if you're looking for kind of like a workwear jacket and you don't want to throw Carhartt any more of your money, uh, this is a good option. This is kind of, I've, I've had this for year and a half maybe. This is the jacket I'll grab when I want to like work on firewood or maybe like crawl around under my car outside or just that kind of just like I've been wearing it on my on my work site built building my house which hasn't really started we're just digging the hole right now so excavating and whatnot but this is kind of like my work jacket and it's hooded has a nice fleece lined fleece lined hood and fleece lined interior as well um, relatively warm and the reason that I don't every day, like the reason that this kind of a jacket isn't my like every day, just like grab and run out the door kind of jacket is it's not as comfortable. It's like bulkier, it's heavier, it's a little bit more restrictive uh, as it should be because it's a much more rugged jacket. I believe this is like a wax canvas type material and you can kind of wax it and it's some, some special dye that kind of patinas and ages. I really like these kinds of jackets. So this is a really cool jacket, uh, has, Zipper pockets here that are that are lined nice and warm. Chest pocket here. I believe it has an interior chest pocket as well. And it's just, just the this is the nicest nicest workwear jacket you'll find. It has these kind of sleeves with the thumb hole here, so kind of that dealio right there. And I mean, for what it is, it's a really comfortable jacket. They also, Cool makes another jacket actually 
Uh, you probably saw Mike Glover was wearing it, I think. It's called the Burr, B-U-R-R. -R. It's very similar to this jacket, except it doesn't have a hood. So if you want this kind of, kind of rugged canvas felt lines, Cool makes a couple of them. The M Laws hoodie, which is kind of my go-to, because I, I just like, I like hooded jackets all the time because weather's kind of unpredictable out here, and sometimes I'm not always wearing a beanie in the winter. So having a hood to toss on, especially in, in wind or whatever, is is nice. So this jacket, great kind of kind of workwear option. And then Beyond makes a lot of really cool jackets. This is this is maybe <laughs> like this is probably my favorite jacket, which is odd that it's not my that it's not my go-to jacket, right? Because it's probably my favorite jacket just aesthetically. It fits really well if you're kind of an athletic build like I am. They're kind of a, a little bit more of a lean fit going on. So I'm just making sure I'm in frame if you're wondering why I'm looking over here. So this is the jacket. Uh, this is the, I always, I always have to look up their names. So this is the Ultra Loki L3. And they have another jacket I brought here. This is the Prima Loki K3, I believe. And both of these jackets are reversible. So this jacket's not as warm. It's kind of a lighter jacket if it's not too cold out, obviously. It's, it's insulated. Um, it's not just a shell, it's an insulated jacket, but not super, super warm. Has good pockets here, has a nice hood. The hood is adjustable as well. And the cool thing about these jackets, uh, other than this just being an awesome colorway, I love brown, obviously, uh, and I like orange as well. So you kind of have an understated brown with like orange line, you're like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. But what I really like about this jacket is you can flip it around and you can have a full on blaze orange jacket. Say you gotta change your spare tire, or I don't know if this is like official hunting rated spec orange, official blaze orange, I feel like it is, but um, very bright orange all of a sudden. So you can flip your brown jacket around and just have a totally orange jacket. I think functionally, it's very cool. It'd be a cool jacket to take on a hike because you kind of have your emergency orange signaling if you need to. Has the same pockets no matter which way it's reversible. Though the pockets, unlike on the Vertex, you cannot access one pocket from the other side. I feel like it would be better if you could, if they like shared the same pocket, but there are two separate pockets inside and outside. So this is cool because you can kind of get two jackets in one and that's a nice feature. And I really like their, their colorways that are black and then the woodland. So big fan of woodland. I'll just show you real quick so you can see. So yeah, some other cool options from beyond. Sweet. And then here's another jacket. This is probably, <laughs> this is probably my coolest looking jacket, honestly. This is the Arctics by Cool. So whenever I wear this in a picture or a video or whatever, people always ask, what, ja what jacket is that? It's so cool. And it is cool. It looks really cool. And it is literally cool. It's made by Cool, the company. Uh, so this is kind of a, this is an interesting colorway. I think they don't have it anymore, but it was kind of this like camo topo pattern, had the nice brown accents, the like kind of lighter tan felt lining. And is it, I mean, what can I say? It's a cool, it's a cool looking jacket for sure. Has a hood on here, kind of like, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a cool looking jacket. The reason I don't wear this jacket more is it's just kind of, it's not, I mean, it's not uncomfortable. Like all the material is super soft and it's super comfortable, but it's just, you know, a little more stiff. It's a little more restrictive than some of these other jackets. These are more like, outdoor adventure kind of jackets. This is, the material is a little bit more rugged, obviously kind of has like double layer leathers on, on a bunch of areas that are kind of higher wear areas. Um, 
but it's not as warm as it looks, honestly. Like, not as warm as some of these other jackets, even though, like, putting it on, I feel like, oh, this should be the warmest jacket of the bunch. Not quite the case. But I figured I would show it because it's probably my favorite looking jacket of the bunch. And, you know, all things considered, it is comfortable, it is, it is functional, and yeah, I get asked a lot of questions about it. Again, mediums, mediums in every jacket here. And these ones have pockets, kind of a lot of pockets here. So it's got the regular, regular pocket here, and then also the pocket from the top, kind of a stow pocket. And then I think it has dual, yeah, dual exterior chest pockets, and then an interior chest pocket. So I love pockets. Can never have enough pockets, but honestly the pockets I use the most are just these hand pockets. So in the winter I'll always throw a pair of keys in my pockets or whatever. And that's the other thing. This one I gotta throw the keys in this pocket because this pocket doesn't have a zipper or anything over here. And it's kind of stuff falls out of it a little bit easy, but but yeah. Cool. And then a jacket that's not a jacket that you guys see me wear probably more than anything. And honestly, the reason I wear this a lot, well, it's just super comfortable and I like it. Um, but because it's, it's my quietest jacket. So a lot of times I'll be filming videos and I'll have like a mic clipped on this or whatever. Sorry, let me get, let me get this collar right so I don't look like a, look like a scrub. So this is quiet. So a lot of times I'll clip a mic or something here. And if I'm wearing one of these other nylon jackets, there's a lot of and it picks up on the mic. So usually I'll like be wearing one of those jackets, but I'll switch into this because better audio quality. But I do like how these look. So this is another, this is another cool, this is another cool flannel. It's called the Joyrider. Uh, so it's like a kind of a felt lined flannel. This was the best colorway I think they made. I don't think they sell this one anymore, but they have, they have some different, they have some new colors. They're kind of switching around colors a lot at cool. But this was my favorite colorway that they made for sure. And it's not cheap though. I think it's like hundred, hundred something dollars, but it's very, very nice. If you're on a budget, Costco oftentimes sells some of these lined flannels. They're not nearly as nice as this, but if you're on a budget and you kind of want this, this kind of flannel type jacket aesthetic and super comfortable, just, I really like, I, I wear this as a jacket quite a bit, especially because it has jacket type pockets. So that's an important thing in the winter for me is to have a jacket type pockets just to toss my keys or whatever. If I'm wearing an outer layer, if I'm wearing a jacket type layer, then I want to have jacket pockets. Sweet. So I think that's it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a random video, but I, I have been wanting to do a jacket video and winter is like halfway through. So I figured I better knock out a jacket video before it's too late. If you have questions, ask them down below. Again, links to everything. Really appreciate you using those links and have coupon codes as well. If you think there's a jacket out there that I would absolutely love, as you can tell, I'm not, <laughs> I'm kind of brand agnostic when it comes to jackets. I don't care, you know, I kind of like a lot of different stuff. So I wear a lot of brands. So let me know a jacket that you think would just be awesome for me, whether it's like a workwear type jacket or an outdoor adventure type jacket, whatever. Outerwear jackets are probably my favorite, my favorite piece of clothing, honestly. Uh, and then the pants I've been wearing also, uh, people have asked a lot, so I will do a review of them soon. These are the Delta, the Vertex Delta Stretch LTs. So these are the new Delta Stretch lightweight version. And they say they're comfortable on their website and they are, they're the most comfortable, they're, <laughs> they're the most comfortable like functional EDC pants around. Vertex Delta Stretch LTs, I'll link to them down below as well. But uh, I've been getting asked a lot because the regular Delta Stretch are my favorite pants. They have been for a long, long time. They haven't been dethroned yet. So these new variants came out and I've been getting asked a lot of questions about them. So I'll give like a full thoughts video on them soon so you can, you can check back for that. Sweet. All right, don't forget, freedomtremor.com, get entered, help support an amazing cause and charity and have a chance to win, to win my dream truck, which is probably your dream truck as well. All right, guys, until next time, take care.